Beach FM, locals talking to locals. It's a Friday afternoon. Here she comes with her sleeves rolled up. It's Hannah Swartz, Kapiti Coast District Council's Green Gardener. Hello. Kia ora, Tanya. So what are we doing the weekend in the weekend garden? Weekend jobs, yes. Well, I'm just going to pay some attention to my veggie patch because I have to accept that the summer things are well and truly over and <laughs> pull out all those zucchini plants that there just really aren't going to do anything else and should have probably come out a few weeks ago. But they'll be good for the compost, so they get recycled into the compost heap and I've already got a few winter veggies in but some more can go in especially the leafy greens so it's a great time of year for leafy greens because Mm. of all the rain. And I remember you said don't plant them all at once anyway because you have a glut all at once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it makes sense to do piece by piece in the garden. Maybe one punnet here, one punnet there. So I've got some beetroot seedlings coming along. Beetroot and carrots are quite good over winter because they don't mind if it's windy because they're underground. Underground, hiding. (laughs) They don't get too affected whereas you know they're not thrashing around in the cold wind and rain and they like the rain too it makes them nice and juicy and bigger roots so I've already got some broad beans in I can put some more in got sort of got a staggered crop we talked about strawberries you can prepare the beds for strawberries prepare it for garlic if you're growing garlic this year both strawberries and garlic there's no rush on them but you can sort of start getting things ready now I was going to say with garlic would you be worried if you plant it too early that it'll rot not in my soil because it's so sandy yeah. that it wouldn't rot. I guess that might happen if you had a really heavy clay soil, but I don't know. I had a really bad garlic crop last year because of the rust. It didn't do well, so I think I'll just keep trying, but try it in a different place and yeah. maybe space it out, plant it really wide spacing so that there's lots of airflow and they can keep nice and dry. Also some spring onions. Spring onions are kind of easier and quicker than garlic, and they're always good to have for a salad or stir fry, just to um, good thing to have in the garden. Oh yeah, I always use spring onions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. easy enough to just get a punnet, plant a row in and a bit of compost. So that's basically what I'll be doing over the weekend, hopefully. Yeah, well you got to make the most of these days of precipitation that we've been having as well and yeah, like you said, the leafy greens will certainly love all the moisture, so that's what we should be doing then. Yeah, yeah. All right. We'll have a lovely weekend and we'll catch you on Monday. Thanks, Hannah. Cheers. 106.3 BGFM.